We'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. head into our room here at Disney's Pop Century Resort. This is actually a handicap accessible room with a roll-in shower, so we thought you guys might be interested in seeing that. And it does make things a little easier since Lisa has the scooter, so let's go on in. Immediately as you walk in, they have the ice bucket up top here, and some cups, and then a coffee maker, and a nice refrigerator. Of course, there's your luggage rack. Nice table and two chairs there. They really did a great job utilizing all the space in this room. Uh, huge TV, that's really nice. Let's see what's going on in the drawers here. Oh, there's the safe, that's nice. They put the safe in here. There's a safe. Extra pillow, there's your Bible. And they have some drawers. Those are nice. Here's all your Disney literature and your remote control. This is awesome. Check out all of the uh, electrical outlets and USB outlets. They have two electrical standards there, two USB standards, and then on the other side under the TV, same thing. So that is great. So the charging capabilities is very convenient. And that's awesome. Not only do they have them there though, they also have them here by the bed. The two regular charging receptacles as well as the two USB receptacles. Your light switch is right above that. Then you have a phone and a little cubby hole there. I love the decorative lighting up above the headboard with the Pop Mickeys. Those are so, so cool. I love this. I love this room. This is a king size bed. You can see how big it is. There's enough room for three pillows straight, you know, straight across there. You can see how huge this is. And the bed is lower, just so you know, um, so that it is accessible. And like I said over here, there's another, another um, outlet plate there. And there's nice little coat hangers or towel hanger, whatever you need it for. There's an ironing board. And now we're going into the bathroom. Hey guys, I got my Mickey sunglasses on. I am ready to go to the parks. Here is the sink with your H2O spa products there and some extra towels and tissues, toilet paper as well, your lit magnification mirror, some more receptacles. Here's a little storage closet with some hangers and there's your iron and your hair dryer is down there in that black bag in case you're wondering. Now headed into the bathroom, there's your toilet, of course, and because this is the handicap one, it has the two grab bars there, which is great. Uh, there's some towels up above the toilet. This is a nice roll-in shower, super huge. And even if you're not in a wheelchair, I would recommend requesting this if you have mobility issues because there's no tub to have to step over. So they have also the H2O Spa, the good stuff, in the squirt bottles. So that's awesome. This bench here just uh, looks like it just folds down. Yeah, just like that. Pretty cool. I would still put a towel. Personally, I would put a towel over top of it, you know, just for hygiene purposes. But that's pretty great. All right, guys, so that pretty much sums up the room tour. I hope you enjoyed that. I'm excited, I love this room. We've been mostly staying at the deluxe resorts lately. And I have to say that this room, although it doesn't have all the amenities of the deluxe resorts, I am seeing definite improvements from before when we stayed here. Because we used to stay here, um, you know, like almost, almost monthly a couple years back. So I'm super impressed. They did a great job with the refurbishment. And I really hope that they start to take that direction with all their other value resorts because they did an awesome job.
So this is the building that we're staying in currently. And there's our pal Baloo. And his little buddy Mowgli. It's actually a great location because it's right here next to the flower power pool. And that's my favorite pool here. Um, they have three pools here. They have this one and they have the bowling pin one as well as the computer one. But this one's always been my favorite. It's just more fun and it kind of encompasses the feeling of the Pop Century Resort. Somebody's checking their phone on Disney time. Let's go picture this. They now have the Halloween mugs. Check it out guys, Halloween mugs have arrived at Pop Century Resort. We couldn't get them last year, they ran out, so I was excited. Those are awesome. Look at that, very, very cool. It is 3 a.m. and we are currently at the Pop Century. This is about as quiet as you're ever gonna see it. These bus stations are usually hopping over here, as you guys may know if you've been to the Pop Century previously. But yeah, it's like 3.30 right now. This is the last night of our trip. We are headed back tomorrow to Maryland, unfortunately. But you know what, guys? We're going to be back real soon. It's about like a month and a half. And we're going to be back down here in Florida at Walt Disney World. We're really looking forward to it. So we hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I got a lot coming out. Um, I haven't really been putting that much together. We've been busy like filming nonstop this trip, which is amazing and so much fun. But I got a lot of editing to do now. And we got some really cool videos for you guys. So please, if you have not already, smash that subscribe and the notification bell and you know if you're enjoying the content please like it so that we know you are you know kind of what direction to go in um yeah so we're right outside of this is called everything pop here this is their store and i'm seeing the fog but you know it's kind of cool for the 3 a.m challenge i'm gonna just let it ride itself out uh i'm gonna take you guys around a little bit and show you what it looks like here especially at night it's a, it's a whole different vibe every Disney resort if you've ever been to a Disney resort every Disney resort kind of takes on its own vibe at night so I'm borrowing Lisa's scooter right now because my knee is still giving me a problem we're gonna roll around my face is a little puffy it's the middle of the night guys you get what you get sorry about that but let's go let's go out on a 3 a.m. adventure let's do it guys first off let's just start here since we're already out here at the bus stop uh, like I said, right in here is Everything Pop. They're not open currently. They're open from 6 a.m. till midnight. And right here you can see in those big windows, that is where you can go grab a bite to eat. And it is a quick service. It tells you about the buses, what time they're coming. Of course, right now, this is what it looks like. We have information about the different parks, the time, the temperature. And like I said, the next running bus schedule. We're just going to roll down here right quick. All right, so we're going to turn around and we're going to go back around through the front door. I love this too. This is so cool. The um, they have the years all lit up out here. Here's some frogs too. All right, so we're gonna just circle around here. This, by the way, is the airport check-in down here, and bell services. So, just FYI, there's a nice awning here, a really cool-looking Cadillac golf cart here. Pretty awesome. And then you just go in these doors and over here is the um, luggage assistance and I believe the airport check-in as well. Alright guys, so we are currently headed into Classic Hall. That's the main lobby area. Well, pretty much the only lobby area. Unless you go in the other way like I was showing you with the luggage assistance. There's everything pop, store and restaurant in there. You can get your caricatures done here in the lobby. Some really cool memorabilia stuff in here. It's one of the best things about the Pop Century is the vibe. 
I mean, that's with all the resorts, of course, but like I said, every resort is so unique. Gotta love the big wheel up here on the wall. So much fun. And the Mickey phone up there. There's your Saturday Night Fever if you're a fan. Route 66. Cool, cool stuff. Over here is the front desk area. And it's nice because there are so many uh, spots there where you can be helped. The line can look a bit intimidating at times, but it goes very quickly. They do have people that come up to the line actually to assist you and direct you where to go. So it's great. This is fast forward, this is the arcade. Take you in there real quick. There's so much lounge chairs there. And Space Invaders. Some really cool racing games. Oh, look at this, life-size Pac-Man, what? Oh wow, they have a Pac-Man Smash Air Hockey game. I've never seen this. Doesn't look like this one's currently working, but wow, is this a cool game or what? Pretty awesome. This is a great arcade, it's huge. Wow, look at this game, what? Kind of reminds me of the Millennium Falcon a little bit. <laughs> I might have to try that. That might be a good practice for the Millennium Falcon. Haven't been on it yet, so. There's your Typhoon roller coaster simulator. Down the Clown, of course. Gotta have that. That's like a staple in every arcade. Oh, this is fun. We might have to do this. You get your pictures as an Avenger or with them. That's fun. As you're headed out the back door, they're pet right past the arcade, is the restroom. And now we're headed outside. Sugar Shack. We're gonna go right under the giant pop. Let's do it. So straight ahead is the Flower Power Pool. We're gonna go around there in just a minute. Take you guys down here first. This is the Petals Bar, the pool bar. And let me tell you, they have the same pina colada mix as the Polynesian Resort. Check it out. Giant bowling pin. We've actually stayed in every section of the Pop Century Resort before. I do prefer where we're staying currently. So I do believe that the bowling pin pool is down this way. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go check in on that real quick. So nice right now. There is like nobody hardly out here. And I can show you guys around without anybody talking in the background or, you know, getting in the shot is awesome. Look who it is. It's the tramp. This is the bowling pin pool. And there's a giant lady right beside, directly across from the tramp, right beside the bowling pin pool. So we're coming up on our section, the one where the hippy dippy pool is, 60s building. And don't you just love that giant yo yo? It's pretty awesome. There's the other side of the giant yo yo. 
And here is the Petals Bar that we just passed not too long ago. And there's a set of restrooms there. They do have a ping pong table set up as well. Some nice uh, seating up there, table and chairs with umbrellas. Here's a pretty awesome display of Play-Doh. Some cute little animals popping out of the top there. Here's the flower power pool. This pool is very deceiving. Once you get in it, I mean, it is a huge pool. There were quite a few people in there today and it still felt like, you know, you had plenty of room to move around and swim. So definitely take the opportunity to cool off in this pool. And you are allowed to swim in any of the pools if you're a registered guest here. So you don't have to only use the pool that in the section that your room is. So this is the kids pool at Disney's Pop Century Resort. And it's pretty nice. So if you keep going past the Pop Century uh, flower power pool, straight back past these yo-yos, you will find yourself at the Generation Gap Bridge. So this is the home of the new Skyliner. Actually have a couple in the in the building there. So the Skyliner is not quite open yet, but I do believe they have a projected opening date for early fall. There's a couple right there. They're pretty big. It doesn't look like it, you know, when you see them flying overhead, but they're very sizable. I'm pretty sure I heard them say before that they're going to be able to fit about 10 people per gondola. Once you get past the Skyliner loading station, you find yourself approaching Disney's Art of Animation Resort. I think this is new. This is a new restroom, I believe. This is really nice. This was not here the last time we stayed here. Oh, guys, look. It's a Disney rabbit. Hi, baby. You never know the kind of things you'll see out here in a 3 a.m. challenge. Have a good night, bud. Have a good night. So they do have a running trail here, and it looks like it's 1.3 miles if you go all the way around the lake. And I think that's pretty great. Seems like most of the Disney resorts are jumping on board with that, uh, especially since they have all the run Disney events. I think it's cool, too. They have all these fun facts. Look how beautiful the reflection is on Hourglass Lake at night. Quite beautiful out here. We're back to the yo-yos. That red one's pretty cool. Birds are starting to sing. You know it's early. It's a little after five. Absolutely love this Rubik's Cube. This is pretty cool. And just in case you didn't know, it's a staircase. In case you don't want to take the elevator, you can get your exercise on and head up the Rubik's Cube. It's so much fun in this area. You have like the giant foosball, which I always thought was really awesome. The humongous big wheel up there. I used to love big wheels, but look at the size of these foosball players. They are immense. Alright, so we're gonna go past the big wheel and touch the giant tire. Wow. It's even got like tread on there and everything. It's plastic, but it looks like a real a real big wheel. And who is it over here? There he is, the big cheese himself, Mickey. All right guys, I hope you had as much fun as we did tonight on our first ever Disney 3 a.m. challenge here at Disney's Pop Century Resort and Disney's Art of Animation because the two are connected, but they're gonna be two separate videos. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and let us know which Disney resort you would like to see us do a 3 a.m. challenge at next time in November. And we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure.